Let's go. Okay, there we go. Now it's telling me I'm live. Thank you, YouTube. How's it going, Donovan? What's up, Red Hood? William Lowe, Jacob, Alexis. It's DK. How's it going, everyone? About to start playing some Mark City challenges. Just gotta get the notifications out to everyone because I don't, I don't get freaking uh. Oh, whoops. Oh, there we go. Send. All right. There we go. What's up? How are you guys doing on this Saturday afternoon? Like the day, thanks. Yeah, I had a literally like James just uh James messaged me like earlier this week and was like we should play original Battlefront two. He's like I just downloaded. It. I'm like okay, so I reinstalled it and we played it and had a blast. We played for like a couple hours. It was so much fun. Come back to Battlefront. I did come back to Battlefront. Did you not watch my video I posted today, dude? I did come back to Battlefront. I'm back, dude. I'm back. But today we're going to be playing some Mark of Genres because I want to just chill and play some Mark of Genres. And you know what's funny? With um, Future State going on right now, this week was like the first week in I don't know how long that I didn't have a single book on my pull that came out. Like, it had, if that has, because of Future State, like, that hasn't happened so long. Like, I was looking, I was looking at the release this week and I was like, wow, there's nothing. <laughs> How's it going, Jude Edwards? The profile wasn't lying. Yeah, I, I forgot all about the fact that that was the name of my profile from last time I played Battlefront 2. Had me dying while I loaded the game up. Alright, I don't know who I want to... Maybe I should do some Robin ones. I gotta see who I have, like... Oh man, zero campaign medals. What Marvel comic should I catch up on? If you haven't been reading Wolverine from Benjamin Percy, read that. And also Daredevil from Chip Zarsky. Those are, like, two of the best Marvel books. And if you're a Star Wars fan... Um, what's it called is really good. Um, oh man, I have like none of these Predator ones. Uh, Bounty Hunters is really good and also all the Darth Vader series. Da, da, da. What's my pull list right now? Um, well the thing is like my, the DC books I have my pull list are all being held right now. And the only DC book that I have that's currently being, you know, published because of Future State is Superman Worlds of War. That's it. I don't have any of the other books. Let's see. Let's do the freight train. Let's do freight train. Da, da, da. There's going to be no music, by the way, because I always get copyrighted so hard now for some reason. Like, they started going... Warner Brothers, like, music started going super hard on the Arkham game soundtracks to where they just... Ugh. Oh, that stream was awful. I streamed for, like, 30 minutes and stopped because the game was so boring. We literally just sailed around aimlessly for, like, half an hour, and then I, like, I, I stopped streaming... And then I literally fell asleep while we were playing because the game was so boring. Let's get a ground take down this guy. We have the new Battlefront 2 video. <laughs> I mean, people told me to come back to Battlefront 2, dude. They didn't specify which one. There was one comment when I was going through to get comments for the video that said, please come back to Battlefront 2 2017. I'm like, not including that one. <laughs> that guy was specific. <laughs> yeah, I thought it'd be fun, but literally, just, like, we did nothing. I went, got drunk on Grog, played the banjo, and then was just bored out of my mind. Her. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. Let's, let's mix in a take down here. It's so weird fighting without, like, being able to see much at all around you. And let's get another ground take down. Oh, no. Okay, triple stunt. Boop. Boom. Sleepy Dogs is great. Yeah, what Jacob said. Like the stream, guys. Like the stream. 
I was like, I'm so disappointed there's no comics for me this week. It's like, dang. Because I don't care about getting the second issue of the next Batman. Back from Madden, they really something. Man, I just, I just got bored with Madden, but that's how I always am with Madden, where, like, I go and, like, I get really into it for a bit, and then I'm just burned out. Like, that's how I've always been with Madden, when I even want to play when it's good. What's your opinion on Gotham Knights? I hope it's good, but I don't have high hopes, and I'm not super excited for it. I mean, this glass makes it hard to see. Arkham City is where you're gonna die. Sure, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, it's so hard to, like see the counter icons with the blue lights in the background. Her. Wee. Oh, oh. I think that's everyone, right? Yeah, that's everyone. Who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl tomorrow? I'm so torn. Because, like, I hate Tom Brady. But at the same time, like, we're going to be dealing with Mahomes for, like, decades longer. So if I have to deal with him getting a Super Bowl, then, uh, like, getting a second Super Bowl already, that would suck. And so I don't... I'm kind of cheering for the Bucks, I guess. Because it's not like this is really going to help Brady's goat case even more. And still have the fact that Brady's a cheater, too, so. Oh, I forgot you fight Blast Mask here. Falls over. Old steel while I found your face into the dirt. You're gonna die tonight! Oh, Oh, that was close. He almost got me before I got that off. Oh my goodness, dude. How many strikes can this guy take? What? Ah, I ruined my combo right there. Because I hit, I hit counter before. That pisses me off. Now I'm just all out of it. It ruined my combo. Well, whatever. I'm pissed now. Farve goat. Everyone's getting all pissed at him for his opinions on the Sean Watson. It is kind of hypocritical. I don't disagree with what he's saying about the Sean Watson, but it is hypocritical for him of all people to say that after what he did when he was retiring. Oh yeah, this is where I got this. Punch it. Hiya, can you take Tom the Goat Brady? Because he's a sore loser and he's a cheater. That's how I can hate Brady. Literally, like when uh, when the Ravens beat him and uh, beat the Patriots in the AFC Championship game all those years ago, like him and Belichick both skipped their press conferences. But if they would have won, they wouldn't have skipped their press conferences. I hate sore losers like that. Brady's a great winner, but when he's a loser, he's a big baby. And also, the like seeing him yell at his linemen and stuff whenever he gets hit, and like him just being a big baby on the field. And again, he's a cheater as well, so I don't like that either. What's on your opinion on the Dawn of X reboot so far? Uh, it's been interesting. Are you enjoying WandaVision? WandaVision is pretty good. Um, I kind of hate everything that's outside of like the Wanda and Vision stuff, though. Like The stuff that's happening in our reality is kind of terrible for the most part. It's just like, I don't care about any of this. But then they go to the Wanda and Vision stuff. I'm like, that stuff's interesting. Um, but yeah. I mean, there's no arguing he's the GOAT unless you uh, think cheating takes you out of the goat talk which i think it should i think if you were caught cheating then that automatically expels you from being the goat in my opinion especially when there's multiple times you were caught cheating spygate and deflate gate both things that he was involved with so i think both those take him out of the uh, the conversation being the goat and a lot of people are like oh yeah the tampa bay team stacked but they couldn't do anything prior to having brady well yeah because they had a quarterback that threw an interception every other play they had Jameis winston the guy threw 30 interceptions <laughs> in a season. Like, <laughs> James Winston literally had, like, mad numbers. He'd have, like, 500 yards with, like, four interceptions. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah, newest WandaVision uh, episode was the best episode of the season so far. Uh... 
I'm not going to talk about WandaVision spoilers because just in case people haven't seen it, because it did just come out and some people do wait till the weekend to watch it. I feel like Monday is the time when like it's okay for spoilers, but I feel like when a show comes out on like a Friday, like you don't talk about spoilers until Monday. I think that's the time to like when you can talk about spoilers. That's my opinion because there are a lot of people that like work and are busy and like they take the weekend and they're like, okay, I'm going to watch it like Saturday night or something. So I'm not going to talk about spoilers on WandaVision. Glad you like there the Wolverine no walkthroughs, man. Uh, knock a henchman down with a zip kick and then take him down easy. Use the shield edge to knock him off the ledge. That could be a little harder. Use the smoke pellet to create a smoke cloud and take down henchman as he panics in the smoke. Okay. Oh, wait, they Vision is good. Boy. It's not like great sure or like, oh man, you gotta watch it. But it's been good. Robin? Seriously? No way is he real. Riddler's just... Oh, dang it, I fell off. I didn't mean to do that. I just fell off. Judge has gotten better. It definitely has gotten, gradually gotten better. I agree. How, is it? Is, it's just eight episodes, right? Isn't it? I think. I'm really excited for the Loki show. Ever since that first trailer came out. Let's go. Loki Red was Robinson of Batman. Nice. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. So the plan was to distract this guy with this and then shield bash him off. What? Yeah. It came from over here. I'm sure of it. It worked. Someone get over there. See, because that time it didn't fall out. Nine episodes. Okay. Da -da -da. Since you've played both recently, do you like better Arkham City or Asylum's challenge map? Arkham City has the better challenge maps. Arkham Asylum has some really good challenge maps, but there's not near as many. So City definitely has a better challenge map, but... I, I definitely like some uh, uh, asylums, but said he has the better ones. They said nine, but apparently there's a secret tenth one. Oh, okay. Each time, like, every time we get to the end of the episode, Ian always fast forward the credits to, like, see if there's something after the credits. Because there's always, like, seven or eight minutes of credits. It's like the episode itself is, like, 28 minutes long or whatever. And then there's, like, an additional, like, seven minutes once the show ends and it's all credits. Uh, not how much down with the zip can and take it out. That's easy. You smoke to the crazy smoke cloud and take down Hedge Pink smoke. Okay. Over here, I found someone. Oh yeah, I found He's someone. From up there. Like Loki, when it was announced, I wasn't excited at all. But then when the trailer came out, I was like, "Ooh, this is no good. He won't wake up." And they apparently like already set it up. Oh, stop falling off! What is with that? That's not me doing that. He legit's just falling off. That's it. We're screwed. What the hell are we gonna do now? Okay, can't aim Leave this him. here. We've got more important things to be looking out for. Oh, he's got a buddy there too. Oh, I don't know, but too scared to show yourself. <sighs> yeah, I can't aim it good enough. Oh, it's so damn long. Yeah, I know. Like it always tricks us to thinking like there's some there's gonna be something Even there. I expected more than this. Not, not much more granted, but still. Eh. More Probably. intellectual problems. There's than not a lot of room to move up here. Oh, that guy's got. I uh, don't want to smoke him because he he's got a. Uh... Let's see about maybe this guy. I <laughs> smoke. <laughs> I don't know if this still counts as him panicking or not. Ah, oh, it does. Alright, so now I, I can basically take everyone out and then knock him down and then take him down for the last one. Next Falcon Winter Soldier trailer is good because I have no hype for it currently. I agree. Like, that's what, like, when it was first announced, that was what I was most excited for. Because on paper, to me, that sounds like the most interesting show. Or the one that's, like, most interesting to me. And then the trailer came out and I was like, this trailer is awful. And, like, the most generic, like, Marvel trailer you could do. was both risky and ingenious. Yeah, it's interesting. It's insane that it took this long for them to get to a Marvel show, though. Like, it took so long. What trailers are you going to see in the Super Bowl tomorrow? Man of Steel 2. <laughs> Uh, a Mission Impossible trailer would be cool if they have enough for that. That'd be dope. I have no clue what trailers are supposed to get. I haven't paid attention to any of that. They've challenged map for each Arkham game? Ooh. Um, for combat map for Arkham Asylum, it's definitely the, um, the, what's it called? Uh, Crime Alley. I thought Crime Alley was cool. For the others, I don't know. There's so many maps. How's it going, Kyle? Oh, you want to hide in the dark? Oh. Good luck! 
They're all just sitting next to each other, besides that guy. Not on that one. But they're all close enough go? to him. Where'd he go? Maybe this giant, this door that was destroyed. Maybe he went through there. Wayne Manor looks cool. I'm s like on Arkham Origins, we got the DLC where we got to go in Wayne Manor, but I'm sad that we didn't really get to explore Wayne Manor that much in any of the other Arkham games. Another Batman trailer, yeah, because it doesn't come out for another year. Okay, I guess we'll hope this guy doesn't turn around. Please don't turn around. Okay. Game. Yeah, I didn't zip kip on to scrapple them. Turn around at the perfect time. Same with the back cave, yeah. My Arkham Origins gave us like little glimpses of both of that, but none of the other Arkham games did. And it's like why? Come on. And then man, I was so disappointed by Gotham and Arkham Knight. It's like, oh man, we're gonna get uh we're gonna get all of Gotham. It's like, no, actually you're going to get a uh you're gonna get like three little islands that you'll get bored of very fast. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those odds appear to almost guarantee you will all be defeated by this preposterous buffoon. Prove me wrong. Snyder Cut looks awful. It's probably going to be terrible, but it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to watch. It's either going it to be a fun train wreck or a terrible four hours. The Batman, I think they'll the bring Andrew Pope for that. I don't know if they'll bring back the, all the rumors are saying they're going to, but who knows. They might with how successful Spider-Verse was. Man down! Do, 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 do. Anyone gonna help me? Anyone gonna help me? Well, I just took out. Yeah, season three, Young Justice. What the heck? Oh, was a grenade. Season three, Young Justice was very disappointing. What's going on here? And this is not good. Ooh, just ran straight into that. Broke that dude's neck. What does the Batman begin with? Would you pick Wolverine or Batman to fight? Wolverine would destroy Batman. It wouldn't even be close. But a lot of writers, whenever it's Wolverine versus another hero, try to dumb him down because they know Wolverine would absolutely destroy. No way Center Cut can be worse than the Theatrical Cut. True, but it can be just as bad because it's four hours. To where at least, like, you know, it's like if someone just chopped your finger off versus slowly, like, uh, like, freaking sawing through it, you know? That's what I think the Snyder Cut could be. Because, like, Joss Whedon's cut, like, the, the theatrical cut's, like, what, two hours long? So it's not good, but, you know, at least it's two hours, it's not that long, and you just get through it. Versus, like, you know, it gets just chopped off versus, like, Snyder slowly for four hours just sawing your finger off. It's like, oh, God! No. Hopefully Gotham Knights will have a better map than Arkham Knight, but roaming around Gotham and co-op sounds fun. Yeah, I hope I hope so, but again, I don't have high hopes for that game. How's it going, Aaron? My day is going pretty good so far. What about you, man? Nightwing movie? I hope. The idea of a Bat series game tonight. They choose Batwoman instead of Drake, Batgirl, or Jason, or even Damien. I know. Well, I don't care because it's CW. So the fact, like, if it was anything else, I'd be like, why did they choose Batwoman? But CW, so I'm like, I don't care. At least they chose Batwoman to ruin instead of a character I care about. You know, have a sync shades that they had directors plus W. It is going to be a train wreck. Absolutely, every time they the movies <laughs> fill the four hours, it's gonna be bad. But it'd be Wolverine with adamantium claws or bone claws? What? Well, I mean, I'm assuming it'd be him with adamantium claws. Even with bone claws, I still believe Wolverine would absolutely thrash Batman. But adamantium claws. Logan's good, but overrated. Honestly, like, one of my most controversial, like, con movie opinions is that I believe the director's cut of The Wolverine is better than Logan. The third act's still rough. Or, well, more of the final battle, not even the third act. Because the third act, like, the, the part leading up to it's good in the theatrical cut. I mean, not in the theatrical cut, the director's cut. All right, uh, knock down one henchman with a snap flash, then take him down. Form a takedown through a vent cover on a henchman. Explode a weak wall into a henchman and knock him out. Okay. We, mm, the vent cover thing's going to be rough. I got to figure out how to get in there without breaking a vent cover. Because the problem... There's got to be an entrance, right? I don't remember. 
Ooh. Bat cave. Isn't there like an entrance over here or something? I thought there was like an entrance over here. Drop. Batman's got a nice statue of himself in the bat cave. Bit narcissistic, but okay. Dark Asylum Batmobile. Um, I can't remember. I thought there was a way to get into one of the grates without having to. Or the ventilation system without taking one of the gates. Yeah, BVS took all my hope in Snyder as well. This BVS is so bad. Maybe I'll just have to take out one of the grates. I don't know. Oh, well, does that lead there? Let's see if this leads there or not. Does this lead to anywhere? Nope. This does not. Okay, I'm gonna have to take out a grade. Hmm. I hope the new open world Star Wars game is announced, but it is from Ubisoft, so I don't have the highest of hopes. There's a weak wall right there. I don't know when this guy turns around. He might turn around and shoot me in the back. If you can pick one Batman Arcade for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, Asylum's my favorite, but there's more to do in City. <laughs> do, do, do. So, I don't know. It'd be Asylum or City, definitely. Now I gotta figure out how to set people up to get near a grate. Oh, this is where I could have gone in without uh, taking out a grate. I'm gonna restart, actually. Because right there. That's what I was looking for the whole time, and I couldn't find it. That sounds my favorite arc again. I just thought that. This thing's just League might suck. It probably is going to. How do you feel about Disney owning DC if it happened? I really don't want that to happen. As dumb as DC is in a lot of ways, that I would hate it if Disney owned DC. I ho I agree. I hope they do better with season four as well, because season three of uh, Young Justice was very disappointing. Jimmy's doing good. He is. Uh, he's not up here right now. All right, now I know where to go inside that vent. I was trying to find. I knew there was a way without taking out a grate. It's right. Okay. I don't think anyone's looking. That guy hopefully doesn't see me fly in front of him. He did. <laughs> he saw me fly in front of him. You can't use Balmo when you're using the VBS mobile on Arcanite, but legit has guns in the front of the car. Yeah. Simulation I don't think they'll mess up the Fallen Order sequel, because Respawn's really good. Respawn hasn't missed, like, at all. Like, the first Titan Falls really good, the second Titan Falls amazing. Uh, let's see, I don't. I, come on, come on. Oh, they saw me, but. What is he doing? Just climb up! Ah, oh, that. Hmm. I've lost that ruins that. Okay, so I just can't get spotted because that ruins the rotation of everyone. Mystery of the Batwoman. I didn't care for the Mystery of the Batwoman. That was in the original, like, Kevin Conroy ones. Do you like Arkham Horror? Yeah, Arkham Horror is good. It's definitely not the best. I like it better than Arkham Knight, though. We just gonna go slow this time. <laughs> Looking swole in the thumbnail. Well, I'm not in the thumb. Did it not update the thumbnail? It's supposed to be Arkham City in the thumbnail. But good old YouTube. I updated the thumbnail literally like 30 minutes before I started streaming. Whatever. Alright. Ugh. Because uh, UV's higher ups are controlling on their own dev teams. Yeah, it happens a lot. That's the good thing about uh, with Respawn, though, is the fact that they seem to have a lot of pull with EA. They seem to be able to do whatever they want, unlike a lot of other developers that can't, where EA kind of just controls them. I like the story a lot in Fallen Order. It's not the best ever. I like Jedi Academy's story better, but Fallen Order's got a good story to me. You want to force them leash three? Ooh. 
Arkham Knight is overrated. Like, it's your brother's job. Arkham Knight, I wouldn't say is overrated because I say the majority of the fan base don't think it's the best. <laughs> Are you in support of deleting sequels? I mean, I would be in support of that, but it's obviously never going to happen. Like, have it be a fever dream of Luke or something. Come on, walk by the explosive wall. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Ooh, now someone come over here and I will just take you out through the grate. Come on. Does he have... Oh, he has... Oh, that was remote control. Battery. Okay, I couldn't remember if he had like a sonic battery or not. Do, 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 do yeah! Go over there and check it out, dude. What was that? What was that, bro? What was that? What was that? Don't just look at it. Come check it out. Enemy device found. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to a different grate because we're not going to this one. I was hoping I could set him up, get like a two for one. That's uh, just Adam. Yeah. When I saw that, I'm like, that sounds fake, but also it's Bendis, so maybe it's real. I go by that great. How do I get into that ventilation system? I have to go up top. I think up top might lead into that. The problem is I don't know this map well enough that I've played in forever. Ooh. Ooh, he's right by it. Come on, 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 come on. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Please stay there, please stay there. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! There we go. Yeah, I agree. Arkham, Arkham Knight is a good game. It's just not the best. Target has vanished. Target has vanished. Okay, now I'm going to snap less and take him down. Alright, how many more do I have? Oh yeah, Batman's the only one that counts for some reason. That was weird. Like, why would Batman be like, hey, I'm going to not give you guys my detective vision that tells you how many people are left. It's like, okay, thanks, Bruce. Do you want us to die? This is the whole Shazam rumors. Yes, he did. Which, thank God. Okay. On me. Nope, you didn't spot nothing, bro. I'm out. Ooh. Might get another great takedown if this guy gets close enough. Nope. What's up, buddy? Just standing on the sketchiest looking glass possible. Report. Any Report. There's four guys left. Take three of them out and then do the... Uh, that, the Batwing looks small there. Looks like a tiny ass Batwing. Problem is, I, I don't know how nearsighted these guys are. Like, there are some times where it seems like they're super nearsighted, and the other times where, like, they have equal vision. Hey, dude. Oh! Violence. Revenge of Sith is good, but I would definitely not say it's the best Star Wars movie. Go to sleep now. Target is still missing. Target is still missing. I got a Ow! How do I activate it? How do I activate the snap flash? I don't even remember. Ah, there we go. It wasn't doing it before. It wasn't giving me the option. I was like, what the I thought it was just like explosive gel. It is, but it wouldn't let me. What's up, Alan? Perimeter security reactivated. I guess it's just... The, yeah, yeah. Arkham Knight, when you're underground, he's in the whole mole drill thing. I would love a Jedi Academy too, but Fallen Order kind of fills that hole a little bit, but yeah, another, oh man, another one would be cool. Um, kind of tired of 
Let's do some combat. I'm kind of tired of the uh, predator right now. If you get Battle Bear or Batwing mod, would do what? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Guess we'll add that. I mean, over two years to best the cloud burst tank battle. <laughs> the fact there's so many tank battles is dumb. Hey, yeah. Oh, come on. Don't ruin my combo because it won't let me jump on him from across the map, and sometimes it will. That's dumb. I ain't taking that. That's one thing that pisses me off about City. Is the combat like that, where it's like, oh, sometimes you can, uh. Sometimes you can jump freaking halfway across the world. But then other times, no, you can't. Hush would have been a way better main villain instead of Jason Todd being not Red Hood. Have you read the final issue of Last God? Yeah, I uh, I got it in the mail like a couple days ago. It was good. A bit. I wish kind of it was an oversized last issue. I kind of like I, I wish they would have done that because it did feel like things wrapped up a bit too quickly. But it was a good final issue, and I'm excited for whatever they do next in the Last God universe. Whether they do something with new characters or with these characters. Who's the new Superman writer again? The writer of the last god, uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson. The battle was <laughs> It was your thoughts on it was Superman playing by Zack Snyder Justice League. It it sounds terrible. How's it going, Max? Get that knife out of my way. What? That? Whatever. I'm just gonna keep going. That ruined my combo because the grapple wouldn't reach that far. When sometimes it will. Ah. Oh, that. Stuff like that just pisses me off in that game. The grapple wouldn't reach that far. When sometimes it'll reach even farther. What is the best comic I've read? Superman Up, Up, and Away by Kurt Busiek and Jeff Johns. Everyone what took so Superman long for Robin to kick right there? Ooh. Oh, the grapple reached that time. Cool. I like how all these guys have to constantly reload for some reason. Godfall's alright. I have not read it in a long time. But I read it uh, a while ago when I rented it from the library. What? Okay, that was weird. They'll be returning to the last guy universe school. Yeah. I just I wonder if they're gonna do it with new characters. Cause he like at the end of the issue he had like a whole like letter to the fans talking about a uh, last god. And it sounds like they might do something with new characters, or they might return with these characters. We don't know. He talks about how there's so much like in the Last God universe to explore. Like so much stuff that him and his uh artists have come up with. Ah. Maps like this that have sort of a blue tint to them make it a bit harder to see the, uh... This one's not that bad. But make it a bit harder to see the counter icons. Hello. 
I know if you punch people in the fence, they get extra good. I keep hearing them loading the guns. I'm not excited to watch a four hours back side of the Well, no one's forcing you to. Yeah, you could choose not to. I'm definitely gonna watch it and talk about it. Probably do a podcast with Ian on it. It's gonna be hard to get Ian to watch that though, because getting Ian to watch anything that's over two hours long is rough. Nevertheless, something that's four hours long. Yeah, Iceberg Lounge. Exactly. What's up, Red Elk? Do you have like a main multiplayer game you play? Um, I'm always on and off again on on Counter Strike. I play CS uh, on and off. I'll get into it, and then I'll get out of it. Uh, currently. I play a little bit of Valorant, but no, there's not really a multiplayer game that I really play right now. There hasn't been for some time. Like, the last game that, like, I really played, like, a lot multiplayer-wise was probably Apex Legends. I played that a, fa a good bit. What's the final map on this? I think I'm just going to use no modifiers for this one, then use the final two. This one's not going to help, because I, like, hardly ever get hit anyways, but... The Snyder stands true. Is Wolverine I hope a really good Wolverine movie? Yeah, I hope we get a good Wolverine movie too. You scared, Robin? Like, cause man, it was disappointing how it's like, okay, Logan, we're finally gonna give you the Wolverine you've been asking for, but actually we're just gonna really lose a plot line that we did in the Wolverine, where he has a healing factor that uh that's poison so we you know his healing factor is not 100 it's like okay i literally saw this exact plot line in the previous movie why are you doing it again dude i, I almost never get hit bro now in the uh what's it called i get hit and the predator maps oh my goodness i hate the auto targeting i'm clearly looking at the guy with the shield but it's like you want to stun the armored guy I really wish Robin could break shields. Make this stuff a lot easier. Hello, Mr. Knifey Man. Pop, 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 pop. not the whole plot of the movie no but it's a huge part of the movie it actually is kind of the whole plot of the movie <laughs> the healing factor is a huge part of the movie it's the whole reason he stabs himself with all the freaking syringes at the end goes berserk mode then dies it's a huge part of the movie is his affected healing factor because he's being because he's been poisoned from like uh, the adamantium in his bones we're here to kill robin we're here to kill robin Anotherness. <laughs> Aww, I didn't realize that was an armored guy. Rip my combo. I didn't realize. Oh, I, it went straight through the guy with the car door. Why is it auto lock on? I'm looking directly at this guy and it goes through him to stun the armored guy. So I gotta take these armored guys out. Otherwise the game goes full retard and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Uh, I hate that so much. And then there, I'm looking at the car door guy. And it's like, nah, you don't want to. You don't want to hit him. You want to stun these guys. I can't get a good combo going because this game keeps messing up what I'm trying to do. It's like, oh, you're looking directly at the guy you want to stun. Nah, you don't want to do that. Do do do. Like, come on. I like X-Men Last Stand. Oh, uh, I definitely disagree there. That's definitely an unpopular opinion. I like the scene in the woods where Wolverine's uh, taking dudes out and getting uh, spikes thrown at him. That scene was kind of cool, but the rest of it's not very good. It's a lot harder, you might say. This is bad. This is uh, Death's Future, Future Pass is super, uh, what's it called to me? It's super overrated. Uh, 
put the 26 down and show him where it's like the next one. First class is great. First class is the best Team X Men movie by far. I will still die. What? What? Wait! What hit me? What hit me? This the knife didn't hit me, and something knocked me over, and he didn't swing till afterwards. I think it said I got hit by Mr. Sickle before the animation actually happened. So I I wish YouTube had clips so he could clip that and I could watch that. Cause I there was nothing that hit me right there. Why is Arkham City so broken? Cause the knife animation didn't start either, and that generally doesn't knock you out over at all. I literally got hit by uh, what's it called? By the sickle without the animation playing. This game cheats. This will be easy. Yeah. I was talking about that earlier in the stream. I feel like. When it comes to a TV show, Monday is when you can talk about spoilers because a lot of people wait until the weekend to watch the show. Even though it came on Friday, a lot of people wait till like Saturday or Sunday to watch. So I feel like when it comes to a TV show, Monday generally is like the time where you can talk about spoilers. Yeah, I watch WandaVision. The last episode is definitely the best episode yet. Things are getting interesting now. I enjoy most of the stuff that's going on with Wand and Vision. I don't care at all about the stuff that's going on outside, though. You got evil bad guy face, who's just a douche. You've got what's her name from Thor, that's like the most annoying character of all time. You got the officer from Ant Man, that's all right, but his writing is kind of cringy as well. And it's like I don't care about any of this stuff. Get back to Wand and Vision. And every time I hear Rambo, but it's not Sylvester Stallone, I'm disappointed. <laughs> yes, I watch Wonder Woman. I got robbed, literally. If I wish you could clip that. I'll go back and watch it afterwards. The animation didn't play. It hit me. Yeah, same with uh, Mandalorian. People wait literally two seconds until the, like it comes out and then just start posting spoilers. Wait, Mike is being weird? Better now. Should be better now. Okay, looks like it's good. Thank you guys for letting me know. Da -da -da. You're gonna yeah, die. that ending was, uh... I definitely did not see that coming. I wonder what it was going to be since uh, Elizabeth Olsen was like, we got something on par with Luke from Mandalorian. I was like, what are they going to have that's on par with that? I was like, okay. Why is this like the slowest beatdown of all time right now? Bah. There we go. The beatdown was just slow, slow before. We're just doing our... Robin doesn't care if you're doing your job. Have you ever played Legends of Breath of Wild? No, I have not. Real world stuff. I'm not interested in the real world stuff because, well, like the stuff outside of it. Like I'm interested in like Wanda and Vision, like breaking, especially the last episode with like Vision talking to Wanda and stuff. But the the what's it called? Like the outside stuff, I think is just with all those characters. I don't care about. Like, the sitcom-y stuff's whatever, but it's like when they actually, like, when Wanda and Vision start realizing things. That's why I like it. But the, like, stuff outside, it's like, oh, more quirky dialogue from the one chick. Oh, more the one guy being a douche and being, oh, he's a bad guy. Oh, didn't see that coming. Are you using the remaster original? This is original. A big surprise. Uh, well, I saw, like, a Twitter thing about it, so I didn't read the actual quote. I just saw, like, like the Twitter trend about it. 
Okay. <laughs> just, just don't, don't lunge to kick the guy, Robin. Just hit the air. That works, dude. Well, that guy did the exact same thing. Why are they prioritizing? Like, why in this game do they uh, prioritize stunning armored guys, but they don't prioritize stunning the car door guys or shield guys more than the uh, the normal guys? I don't understand. This will be easy, freak. Come here. Just. Oh. Take your head off real fast. <laughs> Watch all episodes right now. It gets better basically. It, like that show's been escalating where it's been getting better with pretty much each episode. What's the, what's the best superhero trilogy? It's hard. Uh, it's hard to say because we haven't had one with like all three. Uh, I guess the Captain America trilogy might be it. Actually, it's either the Captain America or the Dark Knight. That's probably Captain America trilogy. But the thing is, it depends what you think of Civil War because Civil War, while it's a cat movie, it's kind of an Avengers movie as well. But, uh, wait, what? But that, I, it's probably the Captain America trilogy, but it's, it's Captain America. What? Why was Robin so slow die. right there? I don't understand the speed sometimes. But, um. So what was I saying? Yeah, trilogies. Because it's definitely not the Iron Man trilogy. Because the first Iron Man's great, second one sucks, and the third one is a buddy cop comedy. And it's definitely not a Spider-Man trilogy because the first two are pretty good, but then the third one is so bad. Like the first Spider-Man two is amazing, the first Spider-Man is good, and the third one is just awful. Um, again, the speed. Robin's slow as dirt. And then with Captain America, it's like first Avengers okay, Winter Soldier is really good, and Civil War is really good. No, the no even before Venom comes out, Spider-Man Three is not good. That like brawl with Peter and uh, Harry is so weird. It is hilarious. It is a hilarious movie. I'll give you that. But what is with the speed of Robin right now? I'm starting my strike for these guys are throwing, and I'm still getting hit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's because they're faster, more aggressive. I forgot about that. You're getting your money once you fix this damn door. Whew. Actually, I have to concentrate right now because I forgot I had this the modifier on, which makes them faster. What? Why did it kick the other guy instead of the guy I was just fighting? This is, the combat in this game is so just like weird. It's just oh, 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 come on. Again, it stuns the guy with the baton. It was. It was good delivery by uh by Toby Bar. It's just like the haircut and everything. Vid on the second channel. I'm not gonna freaking post anything of Valorant. <sighs> Probably. 
Let's, let's change it up from Robin. But as far as, again, that, as funny as Spider-Man 3 is, it does not make it a, uh, it does not make it a good, uh, does not make it a good movie. Let's see, what, what campaigns do I have? Uh, ooh. Oof. I'm sure you can do the one I just did, except for, for Nightwing. Uh, yeah, I hope the new I hope the new Spider-Man's good as well. But if they're trying to fit as many people in there as they're saying, it's probably not going to be that great. But we'll see. We'll do the same as before. This won't take long. Well, oh, I took that guy out. Oh, whoops. I didn't even realize I took that one guy out. See you, James. That's Jarvis. Thanks for stopping by. Suck because the weapon sway is like 1,000. Yeah, it's awful when I mean, it's got like the freaking thing and it's just like this. It's like I'm just trying to shoot this guy in the head, but he's got Parkinson's. Yeah, exactly. Your mommy won't recognize you when I'm done. Okay, don't even make an attempt to lunge towards him. Well, they got both gun racks open. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get that counter off in time. That's how this game's been going. What are you doing trying to take that gun? Ooh. I love the interaction with the uh, environment, though. That's pretty cool. You already read Future State? I've read the first issue of The Next Batman, and I've read the first issue of Superman Worlds of War, and that's it. That's all I've read for Future State. I literally had zero books in my pool this week, though. What? That ruined... I'm restarting. That ruined my combo right there. A guy I hit twice. Wolverine... I mean, Wolverine. <laughs> Nightwing went and hit a third time. That... This game, dude. This, the combat in this game pisses me off so much. I hit the guy twice in the third shot. Eh, just whiffs and hits the air. On the same guy. That, oh, that, that pissed me off. Time to get me some wings. I never really got into Transformers. Transformers is never really my thing. I watched the movies, sadly, but I never gotten into Transformers. Ooh, just freaking Jorge Mazda all flying knee right there. Jumping around. Alright, there's no one else, so ground take down. Oosh. Tase him right in the back. The movie is sucking the sequel probably is sucking more. I like the first Venom. It's not a great movie. It's not like that great. But Tom Hardy carries it so much and it's fun. Like the the dynamic between Eddie and Venom is great in that movie to me. Like the villain's awful. Poor Riz Ahmed. Like, they gave him a terrible villain to play, like, the way they wrote his character. Uh, but Venom's a fun movie. Like, I enjoy it. I haven't watched it in a while. But, like, when he jumps into the freaking, uh, the crab uh, thing at the restaurant, like, like, or when he first goes to his uh, apartment and Eddie starts talking, like, 
the movie song. And there is one that's doing a really cool scene, which is uh, the one that... Why can't I counter that guy? I can counter guys from 10,000 yards farther. But right there, it's like, nah, I can't counter that guy. Not gonna let you. The inconsistency is what kills me about the combat in this game. A lot of people like some of the Transformers games. I had a buddy that played through a couple of them and really liked them. Yeah, is about the new Heroes Reborn comp for my world. I haven't paid attention to any of that. How's it going, Louie? Did you hear about the casting tender? Yeah, I did. But I don't care because I don't watch that show. So I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Oh. I didn't even know they cast him during the show until the last stream I did on YouTube where people were like, what do you think of... Okay. Just whiff the air. Or people are like, what do you think about the casting of Tim Drake? I'm like, I didn't even know Tim Drake would have been cast. So I'd, I'd care so little about that show. Like, I wish I cared about Titans. I wish Titans was good. But sadly, it's a very bad show, and I don't care about <laughs> I watched some of the first and second season. And that's it. I forgot I had, uh... Knife takedowns with the other heroes. I thought only Patman had them for some reason. And ba -da -da -da, booyakasha. Much of any of these guys have hard problems, though. They're like dead now. Because of what Nightwing just did. Ooh, oh. I wanted to hit the guy with the gun, not the guy with the freaking glass bottle. My mommy's dead. Thank you very much, Mr. Freaking, uh, what's it called, man? How rude. Just to talk about Nightwing's mom like that. Your mommy won't recognize you. Will. What? Whoosh. On to the next one. We're just going to do Sans before. No modifiers for this one, then modifiers for the final one. They did Nightwing so dirty in Arkham Knight. I'm excited for Tom Taylor's run on Nightwing. I really hope he does a good job because, man, it's been a fat minute since I've read a good Nightwing book. And I'm excited to read some Nightwing again. I think I'm going to pick up uh, Tomasi's, uh, the, the collection of his run, though. I've read a bunch of the issues of his run, but I'm excited to reread them and collect that. I kind of want to watch Venom now again after you guys talking about it though. Because Venom was a, like, I haven't seen it for, since like it was in theater, but it was, a, it was a fun movie. Yeah, let's take out Mr. Armored Man before he does anything. Nearly missed that. That punch almost got me. Oh, he's on the ground. I was like, where's the last guy at? That was one of the things I was happy with Arkham Knight, where they made you could punch people on the ground. No, he has no lines of dialogue in this game, nor did Rob until the red. Yeah, it is odd. They couldn't just get someone. <laughs> yeah, so it's CBT. I think my YouTube just like caught up because I just got like 10 like chats like freaking all in a row after the chat was dead. Holy crap. I know you're a PC gamer. Do you think you should, you should get a PS5? I'm never going to get a PlayStation now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, something happened with YouTube on my end because there were no chats and now I just got like freaking 30 chats. Holy crap. Okay, YouTube, chill. Thoughts on Knives Out? Good movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it, but I, I liked it. Was something about Batman that you wish Superman had too? For example, Ghostmaker's a great rivalry. I wish Superman had the attention that Batman got and the, the respect from DC to give him all the good talent because DC puts their best talent on Batman. Did 
Tomasi's run is great. My first Rose is two five star. Yeah, Tomasi's run is really good. I haven't read all of it, but like I said, I have a good uh, a good amount of back issues on Nightwing uh, from Tomasi's run. The new Nightwing writer is Tom Taylor, the guy who wrote Deceased. Then it was free on Prime Video, so we can do a watch. I know. I wish. Alright, now I'm caught up. That was. Oh, well, I just punched an armor guy. Get out of the gate! That was so weird. Like, literally, no chat was dead for, like, two minutes, and then out of nowhere, YouTube's like, oh, yeah, it turns out you got all these chats. So they're just, like, 30 messages in a row. Just out of nowhere. Oh, the armored guy got knocked over. No, come on. You always auto lock onto the armored guy, but there it actually takes out the guy in front of me that I'm looking at. Okay, game. Have you any of Donnie Kane's Venom? Yes, I have the the uh, I have the first volume of his run, the hardcover volume. So it collects like the first 12 issues, I believe. And that's how I'm collecting it. I just want to get as jacked as an Arkham inmate. That's the goal. How's it going, Arkham Knight? You're ours now. It gets axe kicked. Lighthouse stream win. Oh god. Never. I still need to put volume two of the hardcover of Kate's run. I do too as well. I only have the first volume. Are you going to keep this stream up like your last one? I don't know. Maybe. Because we'll see. Mr. Hammer. Not that jacked because I don't want to do steroids. Mr. Hammer's on the gear. Like I said earlier, Aaron, I'm not going to get a PlayStation to play a Spider-Man game. I don't care enough. I don't care enough about Spider-Man to play a lightweight Arkham game on a console. You tell me to black. Okay, that's not who I was aiming at, but whatever. Oh man, that was a cool animation. Uh, again, why is it going past him? I'm trying to punch Mr. Sickle. I don't, like, why is the con- This is one of the reasons when people ask me, like, why do you like uh, Arkham Asylum better than City? Because the combat is consistent in Asylum. Like, you know how far you can punch and how far you can counter and, like, who you're going to hit and stuff. But in City, there's so much auto-locking and no consistency of, oh, you can, like, hit someone halfway across the map or counter them. Uh, then another time, it's like, nope. Like, and if a guy's throwing a uh, punch from 50 feet away, you don't know if he's going to freaking, like, slide over to you or if he's just going to punch the air right there. So you don't know if you should counter or not. Like, with Asylum, the combat's very simple in Asylum, but it's consistent, unlike City, where there's, like, freaking no consistency at all. And it just it pisses me off to no end. PC show. PC is the best, dude. Easy. Kind of sad Kate's left Venom. Yeah, it is sad they left Venom, but he's gonna do a billion other things. How long am I gonna stream tonight? Not too long, cause I'm basically gonna stream till the main card starts for the fights tonight. The prelims are on right now, and there's no one I really cared about on the prelims, but the main card's good, so. They made the next Arkham game on PlayStation only. Would you buy one? Probably not. I have enough Arkham games to keep me content. Like, playing a, with a controller on a game like that ruins my experience. I hate playing. Like, I play with a controller on, like, fighting games, racing games, Lego games. But, like, anything else, like, any shooters or, like, action adventures games, I hate using a controller. It, like, ruins my experience. Also, being stuck at 60 FPS really freaking sucks, too. Like, once you play on, like, a 144Hz monitor with a PC that can actually get the frame rate up there, too, and then you go back, it's like, this is awful. <laughs> Bad Arc Side for Shadow Dimensions. Arc of Silence is way better. I, I really like Shadow Dimensions, but it's super repetitive. 
Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions was awesome. I that's my favorite Spider-Man game is Shadow Dimensions. But again, I haven't actually played through the entirety of the new Spider-Man games. Edge of Time was awful. Edge of Time was terrible. Like, which is saying because I love Shadow Dimensions, and Edge of Time was like, if you hate backtracking or like repetitiveness you would hate edge of time for those that haven't played it because those of those don't know how the edge of time how it works is um you have spider-man 299 then you have modern day like amazing spider-man and they're both going through like the same building like they're both going through this skyscraper or whatever and so you go through this one part of the skyscraper as amazing spider-man and it's like okay now you switch to spider-man 299 and you're going through the same thing but it's the skyscraper in the future so it looks a bit more shiny but it's the exact same and it's like this is awful also you had about a thousand levels of you know where you're falling and you're trying to avoid debris while you're like flying slash falling and i hate those levels in any game they had them in the Force Unleashed, they're in X-Men Origins Wolverine, and they're also in those Spider-Man games. And I hate them, I hate them so much. Those are the worst levels. Don't ever include those ever in any levels in any video games. If there's any developers watching, those are the worst. One thing about the Peter Parker face redesign of Spider-Man again, it was dumb. I thought it was dumb to try to make him look more like, uh, what's his name? Like Tom Holland was dumb. I don't even remember the story of Edge of Tomorrow. I just remember being pissed off by the repetitive, repetitiveness of the game. Oh my god! You see that guy slide? You see how far away he started that punch and then he slid over to me? That's what I mean in the fact that there's no consistency in this game. Because other times you'll counter when they're that far away and it'll be like, Nope, we're not going to move him over to you. But there, he slid to me. He was like 10 feet away. So pain. No, dude, I'm not playing on PS5. I hate, I hate playing on consoles. Being locked at 60 FPS, sometimes lower, and playing with a controller. Oh, oh, oh. That's like walking on two legs, and then like go, being like, I'm going to start walking on one arm. I think that would be more fun. <laughs> like I'm gonna start just like using my arm to traverse around the world what is your favorite Arkham game? Asylum like I know a, a lot of people want me to play the Spider-Man games but man I just I, I despise playing on a console I am full on PC Master Race it is better than 30 FPS last gen, yes, that is true. Why? I wasn't even looking at that guy, and he quick... He quick hit him, what? I don't understand why this game chooses who it locks onto. Yeah, but I'll just play Gotham Knights for about a week until I get bored, because that game's going to be off. I feel like it's going to go the way of Avengers. I hope it's good, but I feel like uh, Gotham Knights is going to go the way of Avengers, honestly. Oh yeah, PC is expensive. There's no doubt about that, but... It's so, once you get it, like, invest the money into it, it's so worth it. It's so Your worth it. Won't recognize you when I'm done. Ooh. Okay, I just wanna, ooh, I hope this armored guy swings at me. I don't even got, well, whatever. We're just gonna do that. Oh, so painful. I was not aiming at him. Either. There we go. I just flip around when I have the more aggressive thing on, because you can't, can't really strike with these guys too much when they're that aggressive because they uh they're so much faster. Get in the zone. Ooh, kick that guy a mile. Hello. At the full price. I didn't pay full price, dude. I paid like 40 bucks for that game. Still way too much, but 
put like $45 in that game. It was uh not worth it. But it was because like I got uh, a couple of my friends to get it, so I'm like, oh, even if it's bad, we'll all just play through it together. And it was just so bad. Supposed to be more of a life service than God's life. The report from a few weeks back. My the thing I'm worried about from the Suicide Squad game is the fact that it looks so much like a shooter. Like I know we have zero gameplay, but the details they gave of it, like it sounds so much like a shooter. And I have no clue how that's gonna be. I know Rocksteady made shooters like uh, prior to Arkham Asylum, like they did a shooter. Woo! He lunged so far. But that's what I'm worried about. I was like, I don't know how that's gonna go. Like them doing like a third-person shooter. Instead of like, you know, action adventure like we're used to with from Rock City. We'll see though. I hope like I hope these games are good, but I have like no faith in them. And like I know all the people that make fifteen thousand Arkham game videos a day were uh, excited for these announcements. But I was personally very disappointed by the announcement. I was like, oh maybe we'll get a Nightwing game or a Green Arrow game or a Red Hood game or something cool like that. And it's like Here's the Avengers game with Batman characters, and then here's a Suicide Squad shooter. Why? I ask this all the time, but I'm still confused. Why do DC want the Suicide Squad to be a thing so badly? What is their obsession? Who at the higher ups of like DC is obsessed with the Suicide Squad? Because the Suicide Squad like constantly fails, like popularity and sales wise. But they're always given like second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth chances. Oh no, I didn't realize there's another guy left. Like they're like, we're gonna give them an animated movie. We're gonna give them a movie. We're gonna give them a video game. We're gonna give them 15 different comic book series. Like they've just constantly like, let's just throw the Suicide Squad and everything. I don't get it. What do you think about Wonder Woman 1984? It's terrible. <laughs> Babion game could be cool. What if players drop one? <laughs> After playing the AC RPGs, I never want to put RPG again. Forget it's so quick to the Gotham Knights. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm really worried about how the combat's gonna be for that type of game. But, like, they're still pushing Harley Quinn on her own, so I don't get why they want the Suicide Squad. You can do Harley Quinn without the Suicide Squad. Ever played Web of Shadows? Yeah, I, I posted a few videos of Web of Shadows. That game was terrible. I know a lot of people have nostalgia for it and like it, but I played it way after the fact and was it was bad. Let's see when the uh, the main card started yet. Yeah, original Battlefront 2 is really good. Why they made Captain Boomerang like Flash in the game? Because they wanted to give him the speed force. Maybe they're testing things out for a Flash game in 20 years. You know? <laughs> Maybe that's what we're getting. Bionicle. That's what I thought of in The Mandalorian. When those, uh, the, like, those big, uh, like, robotic black troopers. I was like, oh, those guys are Bionicles. <laughs> Troy versus... Uh, da, da, da. Show me the card. Okay, Rodriguez versus Marquez is the final fight on the card. Has that happened yet? I don't think so. So I think we're still good for a little bit. Yeah, I think we still have a couple fights to go. My 2021's been pretty good so far. For the most part, I've been enjoying 2021. There have been some crappy things, but for the most part, my 2021's been pretty good. Uh, what should we do? Hmm. Oh, you, uh, have you died and your show gets cancelled? <laughs> yeah, his show did get cancelled, so. Oh, the long Halloween skin looks so weird. Oh, I haven't done any challenges with the Catwoman. Let's do Rooftop Rumble. I like Rooftop Rumble. Let's do Rooftop Rumble Extreme, though. That training sequence with Luke Cage and Web of Shadows was so bad. Yeah, 2020 went by fast. Are you not streaming on Twitch anymore? I just streamed on Twitch last night. I still stream on Twitch. And also, I'm upgrading my PC soon. So I'm going to be streaming on Twitch more because I'll actually be able to play games. 
It's all his fault. Dude, I wish I could take credit for Luke Cage getting uh, canceled. Any that of show you have sucked. An itch that needs like, scratching. that show was so boring and also was all about Misty Knight. It's like, why, like, why do the writers love Misty Knight so much? This is supposed to be a Luke Cage show. If you want Missy Knight to have her own show, that's fine. Give her this her own show. Just don't title it Luke Cage and freaking honey dick me with Luke Cage. We're gonna skin you, Captain. You know? I didn't watch season two at all because season one was so bad. Like, so boring. There were some good moments in season one. But it was so boring. They killed Mahershi Ali so fast, and he was one of the best parts I'm of the lost, show. Boys, can anyone help a girl? Oh, they are doing a long Halloween animated movie. Yeah. I wish we'd get a Daredevil game. What about Jessica Jones? Jessica Jones, I didn't like either. I hate what they did to Nuke. I didn't really care for Jessica Jones herself, and the only thing that I liked was the villain. But then it was kind of dumb, like how they went about defeating him in the end. I, it was dumb. Turns out he couldn't control it. It's so stupid. Like, I talked about it before, like, on Nerd Talk. I was like, so... His whole ability is that he can mind control people. And that's it. He has nothing else going for him. And Jessica Jones can't be mind controlled by him. Well, that that's that. Like, there's no conflict there anymore. Like, that's that's it. It's like... I thought I put in perspective like what if someone's like uh superpower like their one superpower was that they could punch real good they had a real good like left hook or something and then the hero they're going against their ability is to block left hooks it's like well I don't think the villain's gonna be able to do anything with that left hook it's like it's so dumb like that's so dumb like you have one ability and the hero's invincible to it like, if Superman was going against Metallo, and freaking Metallo has his kryptonite heart, like, that's his thing, and Superman's just like, yeah, that kryptonite heart doesn't do anything for me, it'd be like, Metallo would be a pretty crappy Superman villain. It'd be like, I've got this kryptonite heart, Superman, and it'd be like, well, it doesn't really work. Is that sometimes she gives a damn? Yeah. That's sad, Claire Hurts Lesla. I forgot about that. I remember clowning on that line so hard. That some uh, occasionally I give a damn. Yeah, that's so bad. Also, Luke Cage should have murdered her when he mind controlled her. That was that was, when when they're fighting and he's doing the worst punches I've ever seen in my life. He's like, yeah, yeah. It's like has Luke Cage ever been in a fight before? That fight was so poorly choreographed. Like you could have done it to make it look better. It looked so bad. The way they made Luke Cage just look like a complete dumbass. I don't like this guy with his propane tank. Woo! Miss me. Ooh, that was a cool animation. Purr! You're gonna die tonight. These guys steep. Eh. What? That hit me? Are you kidding me? Okay, I was looking at the ninja, but it had me stun these guys instead. Ooh. Oh, you wouldn't hit a girl. I haven't watched a single you? episode of Batwoman. I haven't watched a single episode of any CW show since like I think season five of Arrow. I don't think I've watched anything from CW since then. If I'm more drawn like Marvel D show. Well that's cool. I forgot the Inhumans existed. So did Marvel once they got the right, the screen rights to X-Men. They're like, okay, Inhumans, push you off to the side. We got the X-Men back. We don't need X-Men light anymore. <laughs> Ever since, because they're basically they're like, hey, guys, the X-Men suck. The Inhumans are cool. And you guys should really like the Inhumans. You know, they're cool. And then uh, they suddenly got the rights to the, scre the screen rights to the X-Men. They're like, actually, the humans suck. X-Men are cool. X-Men's where it's at. <laughs> it's like, well, see where that lies for uh, Marvel and Disney. Like, they tried so hard to replace the X-Men with the Inhumans. And then they got the screen rights back. And they're like, okay, X-Men are cool again. Man, this animation took ten years. Ooh. 
Boom. I forget how that animation goes. I feel like she's gonna like hit him with her whip, but she just trips them. You scared? Dude, I hope that Indiana Jones game is good from Machine Games. I'm so excited for that. A disappointed in Wolfenstein 2, but I'm still, I still believe that it was a good job. See you, Jude Edwards. Thanks for stopping by. Mind that bet one kind of even it's bad for Sandy. No, I don't want. I don't want to be one of those channels. So much ugly. Out of all the modes you showcase, are there any still use? Uh, not really, cause I don't, I don't play these games a lot unless I'm um, unless I'm like streaming or making videos on them. I don't really play these games a lot, cause I have so many hours of them. I still have fun playing them, but like if I'm going to play them, it's like I might as well make a video or stream it, you know. Unless there's an Inhumans and X-Men, there's a huge difference. The Inhumans have a thing called like the Terrigen Mist that like activates the uh the like superpowers or whatever in the Inhumans that make them an Inhuman. And they like live on the moon or whatever. Or they did. I don't know where they live now. Oh, that's there's the guys trying to throw something at me. I was like, who said catch this? I think Mr. Sickle should like Oh snap! Donovan's a member! Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh! oh I forgot to I forgot to turn on notifications for uh Whoops. <laughs> for that stuff. Cause I don't have them on for Twitch because they don't have Activate, so like I forgot to turn them on because I'm doing a YouTube stream today. Hey, now you got the Superman badge next to you. Generate realistic. <laughs> what? That was nowhere near me. Oh. Man, Cal I'm noticing Catwoman's animations for some of these like takedown stuff take forever. I don't like Grant Gustin's Flash, honestly. I don't think he's a good Flash. I don't think he's a very good actor, to be honest. My mama said it's bad to hurt a girl. For you, we One of the things I was disappointed, uh, like, cause, so I had no hope for Inhumans, like, in the MCU to begin with, but they got, uh, they got the guy, I can't remember his name, the main actor from Hell on Wheels to be face, Black Cat. Bolt, and I like that guy. So I thought, like, I was excited about that. It's like, oh, maybe we'll get some cool stuff with him as Black Bolt, and Black Bolt's, like, the only character that I kind of care about in the Inhumans. I can't DC Universe effort for this. As you see, good choice. Oh, Harrison, according to the show, oh, they live on Hawaii. Yeah, they used to live on the moon. I don't know where they currently live at in the comics, but they like they lived on the moon for like a long time. Like that was their base. Anson Mount, yeah, yeah. They got him as the one guy who can't talk. Yeah, because if because that's his superpower. When he talks, he can like take down mountains and stuff. Black Bolt. I don't even know what like what a predator map as cat one look like. What am I most looking forward to in the Batman? I'm honestly really looking forward to um to seeing Riddler, like a really, like an actual serious take on the Riddler is what I'm really excited about. Cause I, I really love Riddler. Officer Balsy, yeah! <laughs> the best Diva. I love the Officer Balls. Officer Balls. But I, that's what I'm most excited for, is uh, is to see what they do with Riddler. Especially after that first trailer. That trailer is so good. It won't be. Uh, tie up a henchman with a whip and then finish him off with a ground takedown. Appear out of nowhere to surprise and terrify. I hate the scare tactics. Uh, uh, punch an armed henchman. Yeah, they did. They did not put much effort into this challenge map for the Catwoman challenges. Look at how dumb these are. Like, <laughs> punch an armed henchman. Okay. Uh. Catwoman is going down. Where's the armed henchman? 
Where the hell an armed henchman at? Not armed. No way. Arm. Oh, no, armed, good. not armored. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Out. I thought it said armored for some reason. Got two of them out of the way. I lost her. Now I gotta take some dudes out. What is this? Here? Oh, boo. I don't know. I don't think Riddler's scared? necessarily a serial killer in this. I think he's more of a, an anarchist. That's the vibe I got for each other. What's going on here? I thought we were in charge. <laughs> the rip him see, but I need to change that like font or color. You can barely see the rip him. I mean, yeah, I like my my got a blast emote. My ad got a blast to YouTube this as well. Got a blast is pretty good. I drew a uh, photorealistic ass. <laughs> Just shoved. <up. laughs> yeah, we got those nine lives true. These guys are all staying right next to each other, so I can't do anything. Oh, except that guy. Oh, this is very but this guy can turn around at any time is the problem. Obviously, that will be me. So, Ooh, will thank God. You he has no peripheral vision. Like their lives depend on it. What a way to go. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily mind going out like that. So, the cat caught the little mouse. How predictable... Oh, predictable. Oh, there's that guy. Uh, it's so slow, this cat one. Oh, God. Everyone, get your asses over here now! That one is that bad. I haven't watched any of Batwoman because I just don't like any of the CW stuff. Wake and up. I don't care about Batwoman. Hear me? Wake up! I might watch the first episode of Superman Lois because the trailer was really good. Maybe. That's it. We're screwed. What the hell are we going to do now? Leave him. we got more important things to be looking out for. Show yourself, chicken! Aquaman is like the best part of the Brave and the Bold. He's so good. Like, all the best episodes are that. The Superman episode is actually good, too. Wait, I just. <laughs> are you feeling the like pressure? That. Well, they're like, have you seen gymnasts? Like, in the Olympics? Those do, generally speaking, they're not like that tall. But there are still, actually, there are a lot of guys that can still move around like that. Um, there are a lot of, like, gymnasts that are huge that can move around like that. Like, there are bodybuilder gymnasts, even. They're just, like, ginormous and can just I'll move around you. Can you hear like me? nothing. I'll find okay, now it's up here. I have no surprise terrified henchman. All right, so we're going to try to, like, jump out of this grate, I guess, to surprise this guy. I feel like this is very inconsistent, though. Is this guy terrified? Oh, I don't have a heartbeat thing. Like Batman. I think he's scared. I have no clue. Oh crap, I thought there was only one guy left. I didn't realize there were two. I didn't realize there was two. What are you doing? I need help! Like help. You're on your own! Like, honestly, if you're getting silent takedown, what's going on here? It's much better to be taken down by Catwoman than Batman. Please don't Catwoman just punches you in the spine and then takes you out. Catwoman just smothers you. Do do do. Earth, like head tilt. What's I up? It's becoming clear to us all that you Please, will die. Can't begin to explain how disappointed I am in you. That's good, cause they just had the suit. Nice. Did you read? It? Did you read uh, all Last God yet, or how much do they have on there? Will you see the Snyder Cut? Yes, I'll watch the Snyder Cut. I'll probably make a video on it, and I definitely plan on making a podcast on it with Ian. That, cause that'll four hours. It's just getting Ian to watch. It's gonna be the hard part. Uh, 
goes up sideways. Okay. So how far is that into it? Okay, so they're on the third to final fight. So we still got the time. Let's go. There's a Wonder Woman show on the CW? I didn't hear about that. That's on uh, Godzilla vs King Kong Space Jam Two. Um, I'm I I don't really ca I love the first Space Jam. I don't think it, we need another one, so I'm kind of like eh on that. And then Godzilla vs Kong, I'm Team Godzilla all the way. But it looks like they're gonna make Godzilla a complete idiot. Like freaking Kong's charging at him with like a makeshift weapon, and Godzilla just whiffs his laser by a mile and just like shoots seven miles above his head, and it's like okay. And then all these here and I'm going kind of Oh, okay. Yeah, I told you, Last God's really freaking good. And the world building's fantastic. I want to reread it all at once now that I have all 12 issues. I still haven't read the uh, the one uh, spin off issue. I have I'm it, but sure I, I, feel I just haven't read surrounded it. By so much ugly. I hope Godzilla vs. Kong is good, though, because I was not a fan of uh, the Last Godzilla movie. I enjoyed the 2014 one, though. That one's good. Ah, I accidentally hit right click. I like I was an idiot there. I didn't even mean to hit right click. I the Mortal Kombat movie. I'm not a Seriously? fan of Mortal Kombat like at all. I just you don't really care. Don't but the movie, chance. I'm ex actually excited for. I think them like I was like maybe there'll be some cool action or something. <laughs> that just that right there. Probably not going to do a walkthrough on uh, Gotham Knights. I'll, I'll, oh, pro I'll probably stream it and make videos on it, but I'm going to do a walkthrough because people don't seem to care about walkthroughs anymore. I got to try with Fallen Order. And the, the views there are okay now, but like it took so long. Like No one was watching it first get out. And it was like really killing my channel a lot. Yeah. Okay, no one else, yes. Either of the teams. I don't even watch the Super Bowl. It's just it's still the Super Bowl. Seriously, I still watch it every year. You boys don't stand. Even though a I chance. don't really care for either team. I'm I'm basically just rooting for Jason Pierre Paul. I like JPP. The fact that he's made, able to make a comeback and be an elite player after being a complete dumbass and blowing his fingers off. Go JPP. The fact that he's got like two interceptions this year is insane as well, considering he only has like a hand and a half. What is the sound that guy made when he got hit by the bullet? It's like, ooh. Go cover in the walker. Yeah, that too. Uh, one day I'm gonna do just a full like freaking five six hour stream of just me playing Repu the entire Republic Commander straight. Yeah, I played the whole the Hitman game. I <laughs> I beat it the day it came out. I streamed all of it on Twitch and I I literally beat it the first day it came out. I had a lot of fun with that game. Whew. That. The manor level is so much fun. I went back and did like the uh, the whole detective part of it, and actually uh, did how you're supposed to on like the first time when I actually poisoned the lady. <laughs> it was so much fun, like getting all the clues and figuring out who did it. It was cool. Ooh, break dancing Catwoman. The noise it makes when she takes people out is so weird. Arkham Origins is Any a good game. Have an itch it's just not as good as Asylum or City. But neither is Night. I enjoyed uh, Kong Skull Island though. I like Kong Skull Island. I like 2014 Godzilla, but I did not like Godzilla King of Monsters. 
Ouf. Get out of my way. Ooh, thank you, armored man. Oh, kick to the face. I love it when knife guy attacks me when I have the knife takedown. It makes it so much easier. Ooh. That was such a weird look at animation. What? Oh, I was, I, hit, I was trying to hit that, but I was hitting the wrong button. I was like, what the? Perhaps T, not Y. The, the, again, the sound effects for when she takes bus so weird. Did you watch Ray Player One and Tech Pichu? Yeah, I watched both of them. Uh, I'm not a Pokemon fan at all. I literally just watched that because Robert wanted to go see it, so I went with him to go see it. It was it was all right, but again, I'm not really a Pokemon fan. It wasn't that good to be fair, to be honest, but. It wasn't terrible, it was okay. There's some funny moments in it. It had the the dude from uh, Jurassic World that I hated. Have you ever played Star Wars Force on the East? Yes, I, uh, I played both of them. I even streamed the entire of the second game. I think they're still up on my channel too. The Blue Lady just dies, we're all so confused. <laughs> Do you have Funko Pops? I have a couple. Is this stroke Knights and Dragons good? I haven't watched that. I don't know. How's Broken Cat? Is it Cape Superman doing? That's still so sad that that cape broke when I shipped it out here. Where do I watch it? Uh, bad. You can, like, anywhere. Uh, uh. Okay, what map should we do next? That was one of the things that was most disappointing about uh, Arkham Knight. Was the, uh, what's it called? The In the beginning when there were like no challenge maps. Thoughts on Arkham Riddler? Uh, he's alright. I hated him in Arkham Knight though. The whole mech thing was dumb. <coughs> Ooh. Blind justice. Favorite Superman book besides Up, Up, and Away? Hmm. Might be Legion of Superheroes. Superman Legion of Superheroes. It's really good. Superman vs. Space Hitler. I don't play Fortnite now. Can you recommend any good Scarecrow comics? Scarecrow sadly hasn't had a whole lot of um, a lot of like big arcs or anything like that. Sadly, he's had some good like smaller arcs, like smaller issues, like one, two, three oh, issue arcs. But he hasn't had like a girl, whole lot of like big arcs. He's one of those guys, kind of similar to Mister Freeze, where like they're popular, like people know who they are, but in the comics they haven't had like a whole lot of a. Uh, Big arcs. Do you like Teen Titans? Uh, Seriously, I like Mark new you Teen boys Titans. don't stand a chance. We're talking about the TV show. I like the TV show, but I never really got super into it. Like I was always more into Legion of Superheroes TV show. It's important to get those variations on this map. Please don't hit me. Her animation is so, so. Do you like the Flash Wiener? I mean, who doesn't? I'm not sure I feel comfortable surrounded all by three so much of my ugly. All all five. <laughs> Let me tell sit here in my riddle mech. Yeah, it's so dumb. Also, like, what's going to be the ultimate conclusion? He's in a mech. It's like, okay. Like, some of the Riddler stuff was cool. Like, I kind of like um the Batwoman, the Batwoman. The Catwoman and Batman rooms they had were kind of interesting where you like switch between them and had to like solve the stuff. That was kind of cool in Arkham Knight, but a lot of it was dumb. In terms of the story, there's no incentive to return and fight him once the Catwoman was free. Yeah. Do you like Mortal Kombat or Injustice? I mean, I've never really cared about Mortal Kombat that much, but 
I like the Injustice games. The stories aren't isn't very good. Have you seen Smallville? I've seen a little bit of it. Never really got into it. Do, 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 do. I've played Among Us. I posted a video of Among Us on my second channel, which I believe should be linked in the description, or you can just search Pop Bean on YouTube and it's there. So if you want to actually play Among Us, it's, it's, there's a video on my second channel. Are you excited for the Lois and Clark show? I'm not excited for it, but I hope it's good, but I doubt it because it's coming from the CW. <laughs> We're gonna cut off that mask, bitch. Prayer. Uh oh. Ah, I'm gonna restart. Ah, that was just a dumb decision. Any drinks for tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. Just pick up some root beers, you know, like Red Arrow and stuff. Don't make me humiliate you, boys. Don't make me humiliate you. You're gonna die here. Uh. This is gonna hurt for. Yeah, there we go. Donovan just linked it. Favorite Marvel and DC game? Favorite DC games? Arkham Asylum. Oh, favorite Marvel games? You wouldn't need a Wolverine. girl, would you? Do you play Arkham Origins? I haven't played Arkham Origins in a while. You beg me to stop, but occasionally. We only wanna be home now. I had not seen the failed Wonder Woman pilot. But I You may I've wanna just run and hide. So I'm with uh, Adrian Palicki or whatever it is, the chick from G the uh, second G.I. Joe movie. movie. That's what I know her from. She's in Agents of Shield, I think, as well. But I never really watched Agents of Shield. Ooh. Why do I keep hitting the wrong button for that? We're gonna rip you apart. You got it. Well, I'm gonna see two season. Ah, okay, yeah, I thought so. Every other year we get Arkham game walkthrough streams, pretty much. I'm not sure I feel comfortable I have no surrounded clue who by is. so much ugly. Have you seen the new WandaVision episode? Yes, I have. It was good. We're not talking spoilers, um, but I enjoyed it. It was a good episode. Probably my favorite episode of the season so far. The GI Joe movies were terrible, sadly, because they didn't want to make GI Joe movies. They wanted to make generic action movies for some reason. Like, uh, yeah. Resolute's great. And I I thought it was such a cool idea for them, too. I, I guess they must not have gotten the viewership they thought. Because the fan response was great. Like, the fans loved it. But I guess they didn't get the viewership they wanted. But at the same time, like, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, advertising for it either. Like, when I did my video on G.I. Joe, my big video, um, a lot of G.I. Joe fans in the comics were like, Oh, what's how do I watch G.I. Resolute? G.I. Joe Resolute, like they didn't even know about it. But I'm, uh, I'm guessing they, uh, what's it called? I'm guessing they didn't get the viewership they thought. Because the fans, like, all the responses, like, everyone that watched it liked it, but I'm guessing not a whole lot of people watched it. R rated, the. It was R rated, like, that was the whole point. They, that's why they put it on Adult Swim. But the thing is, there's not a whole lot of kids that are into G.I. Joe, so you can do R-rated. Because most of the G.I. Joe fans are people that grew up on it in, like, the 80s, 90s, or, like, early 2000s, like me. And, like, there's hardly any younger G.I. Joe fans because there haven't been G.I. Joe cartoons in, like, years. They've stopped selling the toys in stores. So, like, there's no way... There's, there's not really any young G.I. Joe fans for the most part. The only young G.I. Joe fans are, like... <laughs> are the uh, the kids of old G.I. Joe fans. Like, that's it. Like, there's no one that, like, is really discovering G.I. Joe that didn't really have any thing before it, for the most part. Like, most young G.I. Joe fans are people who, like, their kids were in. Like, they were into it, so they got their kids into it. What this emote was? What is that emote? 
Oh, that's the Bane emote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bane Breaking Batman. Someone, uh, someone that was a member, I can't remember who requested it. That's why I put that in there. It's like tiny. You can barely see it. But yeah, Joe is one of my favorite visitor channel. Thank you. I really like, I, I, I really enjoyed that video. Like, I put a lot of effort into it. Nice hoodie. Thank you. This is my, my Hitman hoodie. Uh, cause IO launched their like merch store and I was like, Oh, that hoodie looks sick. I'm going to get it. And they did like 15% off for the launch of their store. So I'm like, I'll get it. I, I really like this hoodie. Besides the fact that it gets dirty, super easy. Cause it's all white, but I, I, I like this hoodie a lot. It's super comfortable and it looks pretty cool too. My Hitman hoodie. And I like, this is the only video game merch I have as well. Like I don't have any like other video game merch. I don't think. And so I'm like, I'm going to get something. It look clean. Looks nice. Uh, I've only seen one G.I. Joe movie. That was it. I don't blame you. The live action movies suck. The live action G.I. Joe movies are bad. So the ship in the beginning of the movie kind of makes me think the Russo brothers could do a good G.I. Joe movie. I think they could as well. Uh, it was a Hitman hoodie. Yeah. Imagine just work at I.O. at this point. I wish, dude. I'd move to Copenhagen and work on G.I. and work on, uh, I almost said G.I. Joe. Work at IO. I have absolutely no skills for making video games. Make me the IO community manager. Do it, IO. You won't. <laughs> What's your opinion about super comparing Superman to Jesus? Well, like, there's obviously like um, some stuff there with uh, in terms of like the allegories. Like, he was sort of a combination of like Jesus and Moses and like some others. Like, they they took things from um, others. So there are there are some things there. But he's not Jesus, but they, yes, there were elements there. How much longer are you going to stream for? Um, not too much longer. Let's do extreme. It's until the main card starts on the USV event. And we are at, let's check on that. Let's see who's fighting right now. I need to get some food though. See if there's any update. You're playing Arkham City? Cool. Okay. Oh, they're still in that fight. Somebody's going to. Okay, so we still got like two more fights until the main card starts. Don't make me. What's your favorite Batman comic? Uh, Black Mirror and Hush are my two favorite Batman comics. I always say those two because one is Dick Grayson's Batman, one is Bruce Wayne's Batman. I had Jersey Mike's yesterday, and I'm thinking about having Jersey Mike's again. It's just so freaking good. Jaja was not in the Marines at all. I'm not sure I feel comfortable. I was asking you to grab some uh, root beers because, like, uh, Safeway has uh, like different like local like root beers, and so I was asking him to grab some of those. Do you have Funko Pops? I have a couple. I only have like three or four. Yes, ba Black Mirror is the detective one. I don't think that's a hot take. <laughs> Most people don't like uh, Zack Snyder Superman. I enjoy him in Man of Steel. Hate him in uh, in Batman Superman. You're gonna bleed like a dead cat. You're gonna bleed like a dead cat. How creative. <laughs> Two IQ uh, Arkham thugs. Ooh. You're gonna bleed like a dead cat. Goodness. Ha! I'm lost, boys. Can anyone have Fleischer Superman cartoons? I actually really like Fleischer Superman cartoons. They used to have like um, I had like checkout at Walmart. They would have like literally a dollar DVDs that would have a couple episodes of Fleischer Superman, and I got some of those and watched those when I was a kid. What just happened right there? The animation, everything like screwed up. That was weird. I mean, I was proud as though because it was the first time I've ever gotten food delivered. Nice. Food delivery is such like a trap. Like it's so convenient, but also for the besides like they'll sometimes have deals, but for the most part it's it's so expensive, but it's so convenient. Who, 
I actually think I might get some, uh, I might get a burrito from that Mexican place. Because they're pretty cheap. We don't be it and somebody described it as a big silly movie. I mean, kind of is. Seriously. Or I might make food. You I do. I do have some like lamb chops that I uh, took out of the freezer and I think are bought out now. I made, made that. Cause I don't. I need to go to the grocery store. I don't really have like anything to make. Ah, oh, come on, my timing. No. You're there in the Justice League. I don't know. Your mother won't recognize you when we're finished. You got Shazam. <laughs> It is like like someone was saying in my Discord the other day. Uh, like Finnish should be ashamed of himself. The fact that people thought that rumor was true that shows how much of a dumbass he is as a writer. The fact that people thought it. if it would have been if Jeff Johns was writing Justice League, no one would have believed that rumor is true. Everyone would be like, no, this is fake. But because Bendis is so bad and so dumb with the, the decisions he make, everyone's like, oh yeah, this is probably true. <laughs> Five Guys versus Now. Five Guys is so much better than Now. And Now's good, but it's not near as good as Five Guys. Especially if you take the whole menu into equation, not just burgers. But if you factor in just the burgers, the booger, the boogers, the burgers are better at Five Guys. But if you factor in everything, did I not get all three? I didn't. Okay, I need to go more, more try hard. I'm gonna be lightheaded though. I haven't had like anything to eat today. <laughs> Seriously, you boys don't stand a chance. <laughs> You're gonna die here. Okay. More try hard this time. Actually keep my combos going. But man, the fact that people thought that was true, oh, Ben just like, hit a girl. Ben just come on, dude. Get it together, bro. You con DC out of so much money because they're so dumb to give him a con. But he's no longer DC exclusive anymore. Oh my goodness. Can one take so long to take out these arms, guys? Yeah. Any of you have an Imagine itch that needs scratching? That's a uh, cheesecake factory has a mac and cheese burger. They put like a like a fried patty of mac and cheese on top of the burger. It's pretty good. But it's cheesecake factory, so it costs two million dollars. Oh, yeah. Catwoman's just got freaking uh, what's it called? The disease that uh. The Jets QB had Sam Darnold. She's kissing everyone. Oh, what he turned! He turned! What? They generally just go in the one direction. Ah, uh, mono. That's a... oh man. If I don't get it, cause that guy turned and hit me. Mm. Don't make me humiliate you boys. That that was depressing right there. I'm gonna have to do a lot of variations to make up for that because I'm not gonna get the unbroken combo now and unhit. Oof! You're gonna die, freak! Well, that guy got up right there. There we go. Woo! The Five Guys has way better burgers, way better fries, and way better milkshakes. Ba 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 ba. I need to give me some food though. I'm freaking hungry, boys. I haven't eaten anything all day. I had a protein shake this morning, but that was it. 
I need an actual food. I think uh, I think I'm gonna get food from that Mexican place. I really wish there was like good pizza near me. Like I have to drive a bit to get some good pizza. Like there's no good pizza delivery. Hmm. What's this place? Ever been in and out burger? Because I don't live in California. There's in and out uh, in a lot of places on the West Coast. There's in and out in Cali, in Oregon, and uh, even I believe the most uh, East Coast they go, the farthest East they go is Texas, I believe. Arizona, Nevada. Nevada is where I first had. Uh, What's this place? This place got good reviews. Have I heard of this place before? Ooh, man, might try this place. All right, there's a place that's got like good pizza reviews. I think I'm gonna order some pizza boys. I've never heard of before. I don't think I've been to this place. Let's see. Because I'm getting so hungry right now. Why do they put mushrooms on like every pizza? Like all their specialty pizzas are like mushrooms. Ugh. Who puts mushroom on? If you enjoy mushroom on pizza, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. In out fries are the worst. They're so bad. Their fries are terrible. Their burgers are good, and that's about it. And I I know people like their animal style fries, but I don't really care for the animal style stuff. So, and their fries are literally terrible. Like they have. Why do they put mushrooms on all their pizzas? This place. What is with this place? Literally everything's like pepperoni and mushroom. Canadian bacon and mushroom. I don't think I've eaten at this place before. Okay, we're just gonna I guess we're gonna we're gonna get this pizza, see how it is. Get a medium p uh, man, medium's kind of expensive. I try a small pizza and see what else they got. They got sandwiches. What sandwiches they got? Okay, they don't really have any sandwiches I want. What pasta they got? Spaghetti pasta, baked lasagna. They don't really have anything else I want. What does Yelp say they have really good of? Let's see. Let's see what the reviews say. Thing to cut costs of the budget agreement. Five guys burgers. Five guys fries are so good too, and their milkshakes. I haven't had their hot dogs though. Their hot dogs are apparently good. Problem is this place expensive. I think I might stick to the Mexican. I, like this pizza kind of sounds good, but it's like hella expensive. Okay, we're switching back to Mexican boys. This pizza is too expensive. As much as this place sounds good. Do -do -do -do. We're gonna order a burrito. Man, I'm getting so lightheaded from not like eating anything. What the heck's taking so long? Let me order. There we go. Alright, place your order. Yeah, cheese factor factory's always solid, but like super expensive. Alright, two fries, but look like 
got three because they just stood up. Yeah, you never need to get more than one fry at five guys because they give you so much. Cheesecake Factory sells everything. Best DC game is Arkham Asylum. <laughs> is DC it? Is Bendis at DC just a, as a sleeper agent? No, sadly, he's just that bad. What's up, Anil? Favorite Batman theme song? Um, 1989's got a great theme. But man, the Dark Knight Rises soundtrack is so good. As mediocre as that movie is, the soundtrack's amazing. Do you own any omnibuses? Yeah, I have one right next to me. Ugh. I don't have a whole lot of omnis, though. But I got the Super Sons omnibus. I've got, um, what else do I have? I have the Aquaman uh, New 52 omnibus from Jeff Johns. I have a couple of them. This is not a lot. Bookstores on my counter right now. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot you're on lockdown. You're in self quarantine because COVID. Mushrooms and pineapples on pizza. Ugh, ugh. What kind of pizza in the game? I'm not. I ended up getting a burrito. I was thinking about getting just like a pepperoni Canadian bacon, but. <laughs> Other than or the one, what? No pizza ordering stream. I don't get why freaking Mexican food ordering stream exactly. I don't get why freaking YouTube's chat's been so bad today. Like it legit, like they're not doing all the uh, chats that like when they actually come in. I don't get it. For some reason, like it just stops all the chats. There'll be like five minutes of inactivity, and then it like showers me with like thirty messages. best pizza I've ever had um it's hard to say but there's a place out here called Brooklyn Bros that I really like but also there was like um there's this like wood fired place in Florida and like Panama City Beach that I had that was really good I remember really liking the best Chinese restaurant by you closed oof that sucks there's a place out here called Bento Time that's really freaking good uh j like Japanese place but they have great general so chicken I love that place Best pizza in each coast. Yeah, I haven't been to New York, sadly, to have, like, New York pizza. Yeah, YouTube chat's really messed up. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> no. If you get banned from my Discord, that generally means you did something to deserve it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, like, we're not just willy-nilly throwing out bans. Like, you generally have to do something to deserve it to get banned from my Discord. Favorite 90, 90s Nightwing issue and story? Um, let's look at that real quick. Let's go to Comixology and look at that run. Here, give me a second and I'll add a, I'll add display capture. I am so hungry. I am so hungry. I really need to go shopping to uh to get some actual food so I can make stuff, but at least I got food coming. Alright. Um let's look at that real quick. Uh like I'm legit like getting lightheaded right now for the fact that I haven't had like any actual solid food. <laughs> or just showed up ten minutes later. Yeah, I don't know what's with YouTube chat today. It's like really bad. Cause I'm like, man, I have like fifty people in here but there's no chat. And then just out of nowhere, it's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. what state am I in? I'm in Washington State. Uh... Okay, let's see. Favorite 90s issue. I don't know what my favorite individual issue is. My favorite storyline might be the one where Deathstroke came in and to kill one of uh one of Nightwing's uh cop buddies and Night and Dick literally just pays him off. He's like, here's like more than enough to pay off the bounty. I really like that story. I believe that was a '90s story. But a lot of the Nightwing stuff I liked was more early 2000s than like '90s. There's some good '90s stories too, but. 
Like, I love the one with, like, where he goes against the Tiger agents and the chick that, like, he lost his virginity to. And Eddie. I really like that storyline a lot. That was, like, early 2000s, I believe. I don't remember the name of that story. I read it in back issues. Just join the Discord. Nice. There's this great story between... Hope I hope I get my food soon. Too. There was this great story between Dave and Lila. If you haven't, okay. What's the name of the storyline? <laughs> Wants to be unbanned. Orders a raid. We don't respond to threats. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, hey, unbanned me. Then immediately, instead of making a case for being unbanned, oh, you expect a raid. Uh -huh. <laughs> The target storyline's really good. Why is Washington DC and Washington two different places, man? <laughs> yeah, it's a little confusing. It's funny, I've told this story before, but um Mike uh thought that the Washington Redskins, well now the Washington football team team, but at the time they're the Washington Redskins, he thought they played in Washington State. He didn't know they played in Washington DC. It's freaking hilarious. See you, Arkham fan, thanks for stopping by. Have you watched Deathstroke Knights and Dragons? I have not watched it yet. Man, I can't wait for my food to get here. Oof. I'm feeling rough right now. I need to eat some food, and I have, like, nothing to eat here. Man, this stuff makes me nostalgic, though. Like, I have a lot of these in back issues, looking at these covers. The Flash Plus... Oof. Favorite New 52 Nightwing story? Probably the first arc. The first arc was really good. The Haley Circus arc, I really liked it. Flash Plus. Send something in the Discord for it. Where's the hype for Brandy? Since they're ready the 13th Amendment storyline? Yeah! Let's see, preparing your food. That's one thing about like Washington. I, I I said before, but um, it's the complete opposite of like Florida food in terms of like what the specialty is. The specialty in Washington is like um uh, Mexican food and Asian food, and like there's some really good Mexican and Asian food. Unlike Florida, where it was more like barbecue and like um, like Southern food, which that type of food out here sucks. But there is delicious uh fried chicken out here though with azelle's fried chicken oh man it's so good it's funny though because like azelle's fried chicken is like a, a local um like chain out here in washington and um the guy who started azelle's i guess like sold like the rights or whatever for it i don't know how it works and then went and started his own place and i haven't had it but apparently that place sucks but azelle's is amazing <laughs> so it's like you think the guy would be able to recreate that but I don't know, his fried chicken's apparently really bad. I haven't had it, but Robert has and said it's terrible. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, it looks like we're about to get to the, the main cards about to start. Okay, so who's fighting? Yeah, we're about to get Johnson versus Guido, which is actually a fight I kind of want to watch. <laughs> See you, Logan. Thanks for my stream, man. Thoughts on DC's Prometheus, Wraith, and Dr. Death? I like Prometheus and Wraith. Dr. Death? Who's Dr. Death? Uh, nothing rings a bell for Doc. Oh, that's Doctor Death. I haven't really read a whole lot with Doctor Death. Like, um, he was in what was 
So he was in some of Snyder's run, yeah, in year zero, in zero year. And then wasn't he also in, um, was he a part of, what's it called? Was he in anything else? I don't know. I feel like he might have been a part of, uh, well, what's his name did? What Paul Dini did, but I don't remember. I haven't read a whole lot of Dr. Death. What I've read of him, he's okay. I don't really care too much for Dr. Death. Just look up the Flash plus Nightwing in Comicsology. Okay. What era was this uh, comic from, uh, Donovan? Oh, is this it? The Flash plus Nightwing. Okay, this must be it. Yeah, I don't think I've read this. I don't think I've read this. iPhones 12 can deactivate people's pacemakers. <laughs> nice. Soundwave's always got the most just like random like tidbits of things. <laughs> just, you know, I, I attribute all of Soundwave's knowledge to watching the uh, libertarian debates. That's why he knows so much. And I realize Power Rangers are similar to Teletubbies. Yeah, that's been brought before. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite bat suit is, honestly. X favorite X Men story, but you can't say Dark Phoenix Saga. Um, favorite X Men story. Let's look at that real quick. Sorry, guys. Like again, I am like legitimately lightheaded right now because I'm so hungry. So I'm a little like off. Like it hit me like 15 minutes ago. Ooh. Um, God loves man's kill is really good. I wouldn't say that's my favorite though. Mm. Try to think, cause Dark Phoenix, you took you took out Dark Phoenix, which is probably my favorite. Um, so without Dark Phoenix, balls. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Alex Jones and 4chan, my three levels are so great. You know what's funny? Um, on YouTube Analytics, you can look at um, you can look at like sources of where you got views from. I've gotten like I don't remember like somewhere like fifty to hundred views from like Kiwi Farms. I was like, what? Who are sharing my videos on Kiwi Farms? It's like what the heck? We don't want dropping down. <laughs> I'll be fine. It's just literally the fact that like I haven't gone shopping. So I haven't like eaten anything today because I have like nothing at home to eat. I have like uh, some lamb chops that I'm thawing out because I had them in the freezer. I'll be fine. It's just I haven't eaten anything today because I've been lazy. That's the thing. Like with me, it's the opposite of like some people where like some people when they get lazy, they eat a lot. I'm the opposite. When I get lazy, I don't eat much. <laughs> Ever read Captain Planet Cox? No, I have not. The Farms. Yeah. I was like, who's sharing my videos on there? The extended version of God Loves My Kills released a while ago. Lamb is really good. And also, like, I'm better at, like, making good lamb chops than I am steak. Like, that's the thing. That's why I generally go more for lamb chops than steak, because I can make better tasting lamb chops than steak. Even though steak is like just as good, it's just for me, like my cooking skill set, I suck at making a good steak. <laughs> yeah, I watched the the uh, the Lon the one vision episode, but oh, man, that's a hard like the fact that you took Dark Phoenix saga out, which is probably my favorite. I don't know what my favorite X Men storyline is aside from that. Maybe Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past is really good. Cause dark, like the dark Phoenix song is so freaking good. Takes effort to make food. I know. The thing that sucks, with it really, like when it comes to like making food, is the fact that stuff goes bad so fast. Like if you want to make stuff with like like fresh veggies and like raw meat and stuff, like you gotta make it so fast. Otherwise, it goes bad. And yeah, you could put it in the freezer like I did with my lamb chops, but then it like doesn't have the same consistency as everything when you take it out and thaw it. It's like not the same. Ba 
Wolverine's my favorite X-Men character. I'm very basic in that way, but I love Wolverine. He's my favorite Marvel character in general. Let's see, do I have any? Ooh, I have a little bit of peanuts left in this trail mix. I'm gonna eat some of this. They revere me as some type of hero after I kicked out of <laughs> Wow, nice. My <laughs> woman was willing to cut real. <laughs> True. It's a good way to do it. My ex sucked at cooking. That's where I got my views from Kiwi Farms. I'm wondering. Because I did that the other day. Because I was looking at YouTube Analytics. And they added some like cool stuff on there. And I saw you can see like traffic sources. And the majority of my stuff was just from Google search. But like I saw I got like like a 50 or like 100 views or something on Kiwi Farms. I'm like who shared me on Kiwi Farms? It's like why was I on there? Dick Grayson is the best Robin. Well, he's my favorite Robin. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Tim Drake's probably the most well-rounded Robin. He was probably the best Robin while they were Robin. If you're talking about overall, then yeah, Dick Grayson is like Nightwing's the best. But but while they were Robin, Tim Drake was probably the best Robin, in my opinion. I need to get more of this. This is what I like to snack on, is like these uh, trail mix. But, again, I haven't been in the grocery store in, like, two weeks. I need to go back. I got so much, like, the peanut skin crumbs on me. I've read Exile or Just League International. I've read, like, two issues of like Justice League International uh, back issues um, but I don't think I've ever read Exiles Cat is just staring in the corner staring at me that's what that's what they do I wish they did a Robin series where for different arcs they could focus on the past of Dick as Robin or Tim as Robin that stuff would be cool yeah it would be cool if they like that could be cool if they did like a Robin series and like each arc was like say four to six issues and it was a different creative team for each arc, and each arc was a different Robin. I think that could be cool. Like, if they're like, okay, the first arc is uh, Dick Grayson as Robin, and it's going to be six issues, and it's Kyle Higgins and Eddie Barros as uh, as the um, as the creative team. And it's like, okay, and then the next issue, and then the next arc is about Tim Drake, and it's a new creative team. That could be cool. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Just, like, expand on the Robins more. And Nightwing New 52 is so good. It's amazing, dude. The first volume, it's super underrated. It del it, it delves into Haley Circus. Kyle Higgins does such a great job. Eddie Barrow's art is amazing. Like, if you guys haven't read the first, um... The first, uh, arc from New 52 Nightwing, it's really freaking good. It was this. This is it right here. 155 pages is a good solid, like, amount. And Eddie Barrow's art is fantastic, and Kyle Higgins does a great job, and it delves into Haley Circus and what they do. And it, this is what, like, the New 52 should have been with stuff like this. Because at the start of New 52, like, I read the Superman issue, I was like, this isn't very good. But the Nightwing one was really good. <sighs> and, like, it's because they, they didn't change a whole lot. They just kind of added, and they, like, tweaked some things. And what they did with Haley Circus in the background there, and they added a new villain, and it was really cool. Like, I, I love the, the first arc. You should definitely read it if you haven't. Like, I've talked about it before to where it got, um, like Donovan's referring to, it got tainted because editorial kind of ruined the Nightwing series because they're basically like, hey, the biggest book in the new two is Batman, so tie every single Nightwing storyline into the Batman storyline. So, like, you t they tie into Court of Owls, they tie into Requiem, they tie into Death of the Family, they tie into freaking everything in Nightwing. And it's like, come on, let him do his own thing. It sucked, but 
Kyle Higgins did really good with what he had, and I wish they'd get him back for Nightwing because the guy legitimately loves Dick Grayson. I bet so that my copy of the trade is really nice. I have every single issue of Kyle Higgins Nightwing run in like actual issues, and slowly over the years I had been getting them uh, signed by him at uh, Emerald City Comic Con because I didn't want to bring them all at once and be that guy. <laughs> so uh, I've been slowly getting him to sign them all. I got him to sign all the issues of uh, what's it called, Nightwing New Order. Yeah, yeah, the second issue of Superman Seven Hundred is fun because it is a good story. The blue is better than the red, but he talked about how he wanted it to be blue, but DC was literally just like, hey, it's New 52, it's got to be different, make it red. Like, he talked about, um, for how he wanted it to be blue, but DC said no. So. Did you read the Thundercats and He-Man crossover? No. I, I've, I've never got into, like, my 80s thing, so I was into, uh... So, like, as far as, like, stuff that from the 80s, like, I was into G.I. Joe, and um, when it comes to, like, kid stuff was, like, G.I. Joe, and then, like, 90s, I was into Power Rangers. As far as, like, stuff from those eras, I obviously wasn't alive in the 80s, but I'm talking about that stuff. <laughs> uh, but G.I. Joe was, like, my big thing from the 80s. But... Why the New 52 failed? Uh, because... It got rid of so much history that people loved with the characters, and they also did some dumb creative teams, but it was, it was mainly it got rid of so much history, like, there was so much established with it, and it changed characters in ways that people didn't like. Like, they tried to make Superman cool by making him more brash and dumb, and they destroyed all his history, like, he wasn't married to Lois anymore, and, like, his relationships were different. It was, it was stupid. Well, Higgins, the one who was, like, the first five signings are free, but after that's five, yeah, he did that. Which I said before, I think that's like the way to go for the most part when it comes to con. Because some people do all free, that's great. But at the same time, like I think the um I think doing it that way, the way Hagen does it, is a good job, is a good way to do it, so that way you kind of because some people will bring a binder that has like a hundred issue like run and be like, Hey, could you sign this? And the guy's just like, Okay, and so they sign it and you're just waiting there. Which, you know, fair enough, that's good for them, but Man, it's nice to, uh, at least if it, if you're going to do it to where, like, it'll discourage that a little bit. <laughs> We're uh, seeing kind of those crap writers editors who affect other titles and ruin good runs by better writers. That's what sucked with Kyle Higgins' run, because Kyle Higgins is a great writer. I really enjoy his work. I love what he did with Nightwing. I enjoy his creator-owned stuff with Cal, um, and he did some good stuff with Batman as well, like, um, Goth Gates of Gotham with Scott Snyder that he co-wrote, um... But if you hear, we'll go through it right here. Yeah, New 52 overall was a failure, but had a lot of good stories. I agree. There were some, there are a lot of highlights in New 52, but overall it was a dumb idea. So this first arc, so this fir these first uh, four issues are like the arc itself. And then like we get into like a new arc with uh, this. But these first like four issues are basically, I believe the, yeah, I believe this has nothing to do with, or does this still have the, or maybe it's the first five issues. Oh no, it's the first seven issues. I don't know why I thought first. Uh, the first seven issues is the uh, the first arc, and then we get a tie-in for the next two issues. The next two issues are a tie-in to Core Vals. This tie-in is actually good, but it is a tie-in that was forced. And then we get one, two, three. We get three issues of like an actual arc, and then we get issue zero, which everyone had to do. This wasn't really like a tie-in with anything else. Everyone had to do. Then we get like a two-issue Lady Sheev arc, and then we get one, two. Uh, two issues that are a tie into Death of the Family, and then we get issue seventeen, which is a tie into Requiem, which is like a thing to do with uh with Damian Wayne, which is a, a a tie into like the Batman and Robin book. And then we get more Requiem with issue eighteen, and then we actually get some some Nightwing stuff here, and then we have to tie into the freaking Zero Year, which is a Batman event, and then we get some more Nightwing. Like, you see how much, you see how Kyle Higgins couldn't ever, like, really get a flow? Like, hey, I want to do this arc and have it tie into this. It's like, okay, like, three issues of what Kyle Higgins wants to do. Okay, now tie into the Batman event for three issues. Okay, now, like, a couple issues of what Kyle Higgins... Okay, now tie into the Batman event that's going on. Like, man, like, he never really got a flow of being able to do what he wanted. 
it was just constantly tying into, oh man, that's not a fan of this art. This art is rough. Oof. Not Eddie Barrows. Eddie Barrows and then oof. But, like, that's what sucks. Like, you see that just going through the run right there. Like, that's so disappointing. The fact that, and then, yeah, because someone else, like, I think finished out the run. Kyle Higgins did, like, the first 28 or 29 issues. Yeah, Tom King and Tim Seeley, because they are taking over for, what's it called? For Grayson. Oh, yeah, Kyle Higgins did the first 29 issues. So, Kyle Higgins had 29 issues. And, like, half of them are tie-ins. Which is, like, it sucks. That was the point. The point of the movie, too, was to try to make it uh, more accessible for new readers... But the problem was you had the old established readers that were like, but you're just getting rid of all this stuff that I love. <laughs> Best in storyline New 52 by Trump with Jeff Johns. I know. <laughs> New 52 was really rough for Superman besides Jeff Johns' short run on it. His, uh, like, Sons of Tomorrow, whatever it was called. That was, like, the only really good spot. And Greg Pak had a short little run on Action Comics that was good until it went into uh, Superman Truth, and then it was terrible. How's it going, best man gamer? Okay, that's not type news to do. Comixology is great for the most part, but for some reason their search engine, like inside their site, is kind of dumb. Like there are some things where, like, you think they would have it optimized, like search new fifty two Superman, it would bring up the series. You think, but no, it does. It's just weird. I'm good, man. Having a good day. Just waiting for some food. For the, uh, Grant Morrison's action comics run. Here it is. So, act, Grant Morrison stuff, uh, I fell off after first couple issues. I haven't even read all this. I didn't really care for it that much. I might go back. They did an omnibus for his run in action comics. I might go back and read it, but I didn't really care for it too much from what I did read. Um, let's see. Then the Tony Daniels stuff was okay. It wasn't that good. Then we got the Year of the Villain thing. And then this is where it got good around, like, here. Around here is, like, is where it started getting good. Like, Greg Pak's run on Action Comics around here is actually really solid. Like, what him and Aaron Cooter did was pretty good. Like, I, and I like Aaron Cooter's art a lot. Like, this stuff's pretty good. Like, there's legitimately some good stories here. And it content like the. Sadly, they had to tie in with the doomsday, the doomed event, which was bad. So the, the doomed stuff is, eh, they did their best. And then this stuff's pretty good. This at this actually uh, part's really good. I enjoyed this. The storyline's good. And then it sucks at issue forty one because we get into Superman Truth, and this is where it's terrible. So up until here, besides the doom stuff, Greg Pak's run was actually pretty good. And then we get to Truth, and it's awful because that event was terrible. So I'll keep the older exhibition bells or page recount relevant. Exactly. And also, like, I don't know how everyone got into comics. Like, uh, how everyone got into comics is different. But personally, when I got into it, I literally just jumped headfirst into, like, some long boxes of back issues and was just like, this cover looks cool. This cover looks cool. I like this. And I just read it. Like, I would read freaking part three and six of like an eight issue story arc and have no clue what's going on and just freaking go through it until I could find the other parts in like while going through uh back issues. And that's how like how I got into comics was really messy. But it all depends. I know that's not optimal and not everyone wants to do that, but that's like how I got into comics and that's like how I was really like it it didn't deter me away just because I was reading part four of a like seven issue arc and no clue what was going on. I was still like, this is cool. <laughs> I like Nightwing much better in blue. The Men of Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Do you think Nightwing should bring back the gold from his eight? Oof. I don't know about that. But I did, did you guys know that Neil Adams Truck Station did some SpongeBob comics? Interesting. 
What was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, I was going to look at Jeff Johns run Superman. This issue was good. This was like the only single good issue, really, of Scott Lobdell's run. This issue was cool because um, Superman had because Lex designed his own like prison because no one could design a thing that could hold him other than Lex. And although Kenneth Rockford's art so good, but poor guy got stuck with Scott Lobdell. I've talked about before how he has like the worst luck with the writers he works with. This is the Hell on Earth storyline, which is terrible. This issue was good too. I like this one. This one had a cool fight. With Aaron Cooter's art. This one, oh, they only give you one page. This one had a cool fight. But yeah, other than that, like, the rest of Scott Liddell's run was so just mediocre. Like, most of Scott Liddell's stuff. Yeah, Superman teacher. And then, here we get into Jeff Johns' run. I remember seeing all the ads of freaking uh, John Romita Jr. is here. But John Romita Jr. is just not exactly a premier artist. But we're being, John Romita Jr. is at DC now. It's like, what? like, look at that. What is this hair and this face? and uh. But yeah, this this is actually a pretty long arc. It like went all the way up to like here. And it was really good. Like if you haven't read this, if you haven't read uh Minute Tomorrow, it's legitimately really good. And then we get to Superman and Truth. Uh, Superman and Truth is so bad. No, I don't want Dick to have spiked hair. <laughs> I hopped on board with Batman Comics on issue 25 Scott Snyder's run during Zero Year. It's not a bad place to start. Yeah, it does, like... Romita Jr.'s art's okay when you're not looking at faces. But, man, like, look at... What are... What? The faces aren't very good. But... I think that's it. The fights are about, like, I think the main card is, like, starting now or about to start. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat some food and watch the main card. Thanks to everyone who showed up to the stream. I appreciate it. Uh, probably no stream tomorrow because tomorrow's Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm gonna be busy. That's why I stream today, and also no comic from my pull list. So there wasn't really any comics to talk about this week, um, but I might have a video up tomorrow. We'll see. I posted a new video today. Go check that out. Um, just playing Battlefront with James. So appreciate you guys, and I'll see everyone later.